Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jason again from Carolina Camper Van. Hope everybody's doing good. Today I thought I would review one of my favorite gadgets. Uh, this is the Yeti 500X portable power station uh, made by Goal Zero. Uh, this thing is extremely useful um, whenever you need portable power. I use it for camping in a tent, uh, van life, uh, tailgating. I uh, even throw my Makita and Ryobi batteries in the truck sometimes when I'm working so I can uh, keep those nice and charged up. So uh, let me get the camera set up and I will kind of review it and then we will demo some various electronics to kind of show you uh, the energy that it actually draws. All right, give me just one second. All right guys, let's go over these uh, every, all these features here. Again, this is the Yeti 500X lithium ion battery portable power station by Goal Zero. Uh, we'll start from left to right. Uh, we have a 12 volt, it's like a car charger. Um, this port here uh, is for Goal Zero specific products such as lights. Uh, moving down to your input, uh, the Goal Zero does come with a, a standard house charger for 120 volt. Um, it also will accept a car charger you can purchase separately. And I've also purchased some uh, solar panels as well that I use pretty much exclusively with it, but that's just me. Uh, over here, this is your LED screen. You can toggle between units, such as if you want to see how much watts you're drawing, uh, volts, amps, all that good stuff, how much battery you have left. Um, so yeah, we'll show that more in just a second. Uh, we also have a USB section here. You have four USBs, two of your standard USBs, and then you have two of the USB-Cs, which is kind of like the new technology from what the, like the new iPhones and whatnot charge with. Moving over here, you have your AC um, power. This is equipped with a uh, pure Synwave 300 watt inverter. It does have supposedly um, a 1200 watt surge protection i have not tried that yet and i don't recommend trying that uh, so you wouldn't want to damage your machi machine um, it also uses an mppt charge controller which is the best on the market so really good features um, on this machine so without further ado let me go ahead i have a solar panel outside it's a 50 watt folding one so let me plug that in and we can kind of show you um, that. So you have your LED indicator that's charging. And if we turn our LED screen on, right up here, you can see the input. It's pulling, let's see, 27, 30. It should go up to maybe 35, but typically what I found with these solar panels, again, this is a goal zero solar panel as well. Typically what I found is, it usually will draw about 70% of its capacity. Um, again, it depends on the angle of the sun, obviously. It's about two o'clock here in the Charleston area uh, in April. So, you know, uh, probably peak has already gone by, but you can still see it's still pulling 30 watts. If you click on this info button, it'll actually show you, we were at 95% fully charged. If we were, if we were not running anything, you'd be looking at uh, 1.8 hours until the uh, machine is completely charged again, running a, drawing 30 watts from the solar panel. Okay, so let me unplug that. And we'll now move to the DC. This is a boundless breeze fan. Uh, so we'll plug that in. And anytime you use any of these sections, you must turn the power on for each one. So there's the 12 volt there. And let's turn it on low and see what we get. Okay, so low, it's pulling 27, 26 watts, 28. Medium, jumps up to around 40, 35. And then high, using about 50 watts. So that being said, um, this is a 500 watt 
um, machine here. So if I was to run that fan on high, just exclusively the fan, if it was fully charged, I could probably get about 10 hours out of it. So pretty neat. So we'll unplug that. This is one of these uh, specific Goal Zero lights. I love these lights. These are awesome. So the light actually just came on. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not, but on low, these lights don't even draw one watt. So essentially, I know it's using some power, but essentially you could probably run this light for hundreds of hours without it the, the running out of battery. If we switch it on the high, it does pull four watts. So, but I found that the low is, is more than enough light. So again, there's that. We'll unplug this. Okay, and we'll move over to uh, one of our USBs here. And again, each time you do it, you have to turn on the power button. Make sure that's not in the way. So my iPhone is charging now. And let's see, I know it pulls more than one, there it goes. So the iPhone was about seven watts of power. So out of 500 watts, if I was exclusively only charged my phone, that's, a, that's several, several cycles of, of charging your phone there. Okay, turn that off. Okay, and let's see, the last one I have here, this is actually what I was talking about earlier, my Makita batteries for my power tools, um, for my little portable chainsaw and whatnot. <clears throat> always have to have those charged and ready to go. You'll notice here when we turn on this AC inverter, it automatically draws seven watts and I have nothing plugged up. That's just the wattage it takes to actually run the inverter. So tip, rule of thumb, if you're not using any of these stations, turn them off because even the 12 volt, the LED and the USB, it is going to draw a little bit of energy even though it's not registering on your output there. So this is, again, the battery. It takes just a second for this charger to kick in on these Makitas. The fan's got to kick in, there you go. So let's see, seven minus 65 is 58. So this little charging station here for the battery uh, will use 58 watts, but again, you have to turn the inverter on to run it so you're looking at 65 watts throughout the day if i'm out and about you know i can recharge these batteries you know five six times no problem so that okay all right and that really wraps up the functions of it it's a really awesome portable power machine again it's lithium ion batteries so you can use this indoors and not have to worry about any toxic fumes or anything like that coming out and that's why i was saying it's actually great if you're even even in a tent camping um it only weighs 13 pounds which is crazy uh for the amount of power that you get um you know we use it too we, we're in hurricane areas so we use it when we have storm outages i've got a 32 led tv on the porch uh it draws 40 watts so i can run this little fan on low, my TV, uh, my little light if I need it. And that, you know, that can give me several hours of, of you know, civilization when the power's out. So it's a great, great product. All right, just give me one second and I will switch the camera view again. All right, guys, well, that was the review for the Yeti 500X portable power station by Goal Zero. I hope you found it useful and hopefully this helps you in making your decisions on if this is something you'd be interested in, in purchasing. Um, if you did find it beneficial, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, once again, I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye.